Gabriel okay. doesn't like putting his skivvies back on after doing the deed. Oh, so you're up. Yeah, kinda inevitable. So, did you have breakfast? Uh, no, but I think I'll go down. I mean, while you shower and all that. I'll, I'll just get out of your hair, Hello? so... Hello? Did, uh, did somebody die? Hey, Mose. Yeah, hi. What's up? What happened to the lady? Does anyone else hear Twilight Zone music, or, or is it just me? What's this? Oh, yeah, I was gonna ask you about that. Where'd you find it? Our friend Larry Chester buried it last night. Or should I say, Larry Sinclair. Sinclair, huh? Son of a bitch. It's about the Stuart bloodline. Did you read it then? I just skimmed it. I've been working on the treasure oh. map. Well, would you mind reading it? I've got to figure out why Sinclair lied and why he felt compelled to play Jolly Roger last night. Say, I'll read it, you know, if you're busy with the map, that is. Grace will do it. Why the hell are you so interested anyway? Just trying to be helpful. Jeez, fine. I'll just go. Is Gabriel illiterate? Why can't he read it? He's busy. Wait. Um, Grace, I'll grab a shower later, so, uh, you know, the room's all yours. God! Get a grip, Matt! Oh. <laughs> okay. What? I don't know why Grace was so upset. Christ, you retard! This better not be about what I think it's we about. We don't say that word anymore. Oh, shit. <sighs> I'm going to my room. Come by later if you want to talk about it. What are those people doing? Talk about it. What, what, do you want the details? <laughs> do do well, guys do this? he might. I've right. never done that with another guy. Okay. Women so, do. Uh, oh, I tell you, Jean, I feel it. Something is wrong. Perhaps Monsieur Winks spends the night with another guest. No, I have already cleaned Mademoiselle Butan's room. And where else could he have been? The American girl stays with her boss. As for the Lady Howard and Estelle... <laughs> Enough, Roxanne. Lock the door and touch nothing. Yeah. We shall see if Monsieur Wilkes returns. Oh, uh, we oui, Jean. Anyway, you can intervene oui, here. Knight? I noticed you all coming in here. Is Mr. Wilkes okay? Oh, I hope so. Shh. Everything is fine, monsieur. <laughs> Not to worry your head. Roxanne here, she's only the little bit cautious. <laughs> oh, oui. I'm sure everything is fine. Come, come. We will leave the room for Monsieur Wilkes' return. Roxanne, back to work, back to work. And Monsieur, thank you for the so kindly made offer of assistance. Hey, no prob. Roxanne is understandably worried about Wilkes because we have not seen him in quite some time. We know his uh, moped was still there, but he was nowhere to be found during the evening. Excuse me, Roxanne. That's corner in the closet. <gasps> Monsieur mm -hmm. Knight, do you need something? I need... A, oh, don't flirt, no. I'm About not, Mr. Wilkes, <laughs> I'm not gonna you do know that. something? That's I've gross. learned to trust a woman's instincts. Ugh. You have? Sure. So, what got you upset this morning? Oh, monsieur, I am very afraid for Mr. Wilkes. This morning, his window, it is wide open, and things in his room, they are not right. Usually, I find his night clothes on the floor, yes? But this morning, there is no sign of them, and his razor and toothbrush, they have not been used. It is as if he never got up this morning, yet he is not there. Gee, that sounds bad. Why don't you let me take a look? Uh, I, I don't know. Roxanne, this could be serious. Mr. Wilkes would want us to make sure he's not in any trouble. I agree. That is why I go to Jean. But he thinks I have the big, uh, imagination. Personally, I've learned never to underestimate a woman. <laughs> Monsieur. All right, I will show you. Follow me. Please, Monsieur Knight. If Monsieur Wilkes returns, do not tell him I let you in, yes? I won't. Thanks. Well, Jean doesn't think much of this, uh, this theory that Wilkes might be in trouble. I don't... This room is pretty nice. Yeah. Uh, yeah. It's wide open, all right. 
creepy. It reminds me of my dream. I think it's identical to ours. But it looks like I don't see any signs of forced entry on the window. No signs of forced entry. I doubt the dumb waiter factors into this. You have to be pretty desperate and limber to get in that way. Well, the night visitors had no trouble opening our window. That's his clothes, but where's his equipment? So... Oh, and Wilkes' thumper is not there. Hmm. His seismographic uh, tool Do hickey. is not there. Wilkes' keys are still here, so he couldn't have left town. Well, we know that because his moped is there. That's That doesn't I help. I thought he had more anything. papers and stuff lying around. Yes, his papers have been removed, even though his luggage is there. Um, we could look in his bathroom, but there's nothing there of note. So let's just leave. Maybe we will encounter Wilkes out in the valley. I'm sure he will be just fine. Get in here. So what happened? Well, hmm. what was it well, like? Well, I really did <laughs> it this time. I knew it. You did, didn't you? Did you? Yeah. Key Rust! Ah, oh, come on. How about some support here? So what happened anyway? When she left here last night, she didn't want anything to do with you. Well, it was an accident. Right. You're the only guy I know who could accidentally end up in bed with the most beautiful woman for 50 miles. What about Madeline? What about Madeline? Shakes. Wow. You know, you got kind of a reverse rose-colored glasses thing going on. Must be your fear of commitment affecting your optical nerves. I don't think that's what that means, Grace but beautiful. okay. She's yeah, nice, she's smart, she's funny. You ought to have your head examined. And besides which, I ought to break your neck for hurting her feelings. Did you get a look at her face this morning? No, knock it off. I feel bad enough. I just don't know how to act. I mean, God, she's like my sister or something. Aww. Well, I suppose you could try to talk to her about your feelings, get it all out in the open. Nah. Yeah. I'll tell you what. Just pretend it never happened. Oh, yeah. oh. Great idea. Really? Just act like nothing happened. Try it. Okay. So, the, has he been hitting on his sister for the last five years, or...? Apparently. I didn't it's get... an unsavory side of Gabriel. Yeah. I didn't get the impression that, that she was upset about it. She seemed... What, Just you know, sort of like... She's like, uh, whatever. Yeah. She, she said it was a long time coming, meaning that she... I guess she expected it to happen right. at some point. I don't know what the issue was. I, I know that she was upset earlier when he said that she was a chastity Have you seen belt. Wilkes yet, John? <laughs> no, monsieur. Have you? No. Oh. I'm sure he'll be popping it up any time now. Uh, we've certainly seen a number of instances where uh, Grace has displayed some jealousy. Uh, she displayed it with Malia. She displayed it with Gerda. Um, and she certainly <laughs> has a lot of animosity toward Madeline Boothane. Yeah. Uh, whom we don't I believe that's Wilkes' bike. We don't think that Gabriel has had any relations That's with. Bucelli's bike. I mean, she might just be kind of embarrassed because yeah. it's pretty like that thing. unprofessional. What do you mean? To sleep with her employer. Oh, you think it was a. You think it was a matter of propriety. Maybe. Um, we don't actually need to talk to Lily and Estelle. I don't think. Maybe we can. Let's see what they're up to. Digging a hole just like everybody else lately. Mm -hmm. Oh, poor Estelle. She's kind of like a faithful bulldog, isn't she? Bulldog. Well, here's a scene of domestic bulldog. bliss. Bulldog. Not the other. Morning, ladies. Name for a oh, it's lady. you. What are you doing here? Oh, just passing by. I see you've narrowed down your theory. Really? Some people haven't the slightest consideration. It's all right, Lily. Bother. It is not. Do you mind, Mr. Knight? Estelle and I are on a private enterprise and we don't need any help or supervision from you. I wasn't offering any. Very well. Then be gone. <laughs> Go on. Pish posh. Be gone. 
Be gone. It's not a. Uh, it's not a order. An order that you hear very often. Uh, I believe this is Emilio. Sitting at. Poussin's tomb. What is he doing here? Is he digging a hole? No, he is not. I wonder what Emilio's doing here. Thinking about digging a hole? Ah, that's possible. Thinking about digging, dude? Hi, Emilio. Hello, Mr. Knight. So, what you doing up here? Uh, just looking for a quiet spot to meditate. Funny. Most people prefer Tour Magdala or Blanchefort to, uh, meditate. Do they? This location, too, has its benefits, you know. What exactly is Amelia supposed to be wearing there? Is that like a vest? <laughs> I don't know. Can't they do go with his horrible That's sandals. The, tomb the sign mentions. Must be some famous person named Pooh San buried there. You yeah. Think? Good thing they have those up, because there's nothing more tempting to vandalize than a tomb on a hill. Well, well, maybe. Hasn't Gabriel himself defaced Somebody the tomb? Somebody wrote, "Wuss." Yeah. <laughs> Must have been looking at Moseley at the time. Okay, why would Gabriel think this is wuss? Is that what a U looks like? I don't believe it is. I can't hardly uh, read that. It, it it definitely looked like an like a upside down U. So I don't know what what world Gabriel lives in. Uh. Wouldn't graffiti most likely... Well, I guess not. I guess it, it isn't necessarily locals who would be doing the graffiti here. No. So if we come out to Long Mort, uh, this is where Madeline was digging earlier. Let's look in her hole. Hey. <laughs> I don't know why like you're trying to take it someplace weird. Than he looks. Uh, well, Madeline exists as a sex character. Hey, look at these footprints. I don't believe those were there before. And and we could not take the path that's in the foreground right there. We we wouldn't be able to go. Hmm. That's a big old wilk size footprint. Well, Gabriel seems to be adept at tracking these days. Let's walk oh, that way. Shit. I he found Wilkes. Look to be in good condition. Well, that's shocking. So Wilkes did actually get into his jam jam, <laughs> or gym jam. Oh, bastard! Uh, his PJs. But he's been completely drained, hmm. just like the two dead Freemasons. So they must have pulled him from his room last night, but no one heard a thing. How do they do that? Well, and why Wilkes? They're freaky magic assholes. Well, I guess that answers the question: What kind of PJs would a man like Wilkes wear? Mm -hmm. Like. I mean, Gabriel was briefly a werewolf, so yeah. nothing should really come as a surprise. Really? Nothing? Very little. Hmm. I don't know. Be gone. Well, okay. It's 1999. I mean, but she's a giant poser, so that's to be expected. Yeah. I don't She's not very progressive for an obviously lesbian lady. It's from Wilkes to his publisher. He must have been worried about someone seeing it, so he took it to bed with him. Hmm. Apparently, he was right to be paranoid. I wonder who hid his papers. Did he hide them? Did he hide them in a hole? I don't know. It's the letter I found in Wilkes's pocket. Yeah, no shit, Sherlock. Why don't you read it? Looks like Wilkes might have been onto something after all. I wonder if that's what made him a target. Then again, maybe he just stumbled into the wrong neck of the woods. Yes. In his bedroom. We do not know why. He, well, no, he found something, mm. according to Either that letter. Either the Red Cross had an accident here, or I found Wilkes' missing blood. Mm -hmm. I'd rather not, thanks. He will not think about that. Knee <laughs> indentations. Just like at the armchair, God. Yeah. They held Wilkes here while they drained his blood. He wasn't exactly small, either. It's not real clear why they needed to take him out here to do it. Why didn't they just do it in his hotel room? They were thinking of Roxanne and her having to think of... Yeah, like, they were being considerate. Blood. Well, okay. They're I, uh, friendly vampires. Murderers. Murderers. It's true, they didn't drink it. They just... Yeah, they didn't even drink him. 
They just uh, exsanguinated him. Exsanguinated him for what? Because Fun. he because he heard something that he wasn't supposed mm-hmm. to hear, or read something, or found something that he wasn't supposed to find. Seems harsh. Did they ask him not to talk about it politely? Doesn't seem like really their uh, typical mo. Well, we don't know much about them, do we? No, but we do know that they've murdered somebody else like that. After all, Mallory McDougal, hey. Ah! What are you doing? I was, uh, (laughs) I was just going to talk to Grace, uh, but she's in the shower. Huh. So, uh, see ya. What have you got in that newspaper that you have? Seems like an unusually wide newspaper. I'll catch up with you later. And Madeline hey, is kitty. going into Mosley's room. Hmm. Oh, Monsieur Mosley. I, it's just not the shape this of a person. This place has a fruit bin. Um, okay. Should we listen? Of course. Okay. Duh. Let's see if we can hear anything juicy, so to speak. Ew. Oh, he's in there, all right. Nope. They did not record an audio file representative of that tryst. Okay. Grace is in the shower. Hey, look what is not on that coffee table. The Bloodline manuscript now appears to be missing. Well, let's go steal it back. We suspect that maybe Mosley, who was very interested in seeing it, absconded with it. Although I don't have any proof of that right now. That's why you need to go punch him in the face. We have Larry's print from the manuscript that we printed last last night. Um, and I can link that to him. I could do an analysis to see if Larry left Le Serpent Rouge for us, but Gabriel would just say that the analysis is Grace's job, <laughs> and he won't do it. So that's all we can do there. Learned helplessness in technology. Uh, well, or laziness, or he just he thinks that's woman work. <laughs> Programming certainly is woman work, as we know. Mm. So, okay. What else can we do now? Wilkes is dead. Well, we can't kill Wilkes. Go ahead and try talking to Larry again about the manuscript that he decided needed to be uh, buried, since there's no chance that Larry would be able to take it back from us now. Hello? Larry? Larry? I have nothing to say to you. (laughs) Oh, I think you do, Mr. Sinclair. Perhaps you had better come in. Yes, we know his name from the manuscript's title. I've learned that you were, in fact, hired by Prince James. Good. But that doesn't excuse your prying into my affairs. You've destroyed my cover. See now, that's the problem with secrets and lies. It's impossible to tell which ones might be relevant until you dig them up and take a good whiff. That's between you and Prince James. But I can tell you that you're treading on thin ice. This is a delicate situation. You might find yourself in very hot water indeed. I'm getting confused. Am I supposed to watch out for thin ice or hot water? (laughs) Very amusing, I'm sure. Uh We'll see how your cavalier attitude serves you with the prince. Now, what is it that you want? Um, so that thing you buried, I I, wanted to talk to you about your bloodline manuscript. How did you know about that? I followed you last night and dug it up. <laughs> you, what? What? This Did is outrageous. Anything? I was I hope barely you can hiding. I appreciate my motivation. I was in the room when Prince James's son was taken. There's very little I wouldn't do to find him. I can't fathom why an outsider like you was hired in the first place. Shot Jaeger. It's absurd. But now that you've seen my manuscript, I hope you finally comprehend 
that I am not the kidnapper. It's not incriminating in that regard, no. Where is the manuscript? Um... You didn't remove it, did you? I didn't think it was good for it, being <laughs> out in that damp ground and all. You must return it at once! Yeah, Why? Uh -huh, I will. But it's at the hotel at the moment, though. Mr. Knight, I suggest you bring it back here immediately. Why? Because if anything happens to that manuscript, Prince James will be very displeased. I will. Mm -hmm. No problem. Yeah, we, we totally you know haven't Montreux, had it stolen the owner from us. Of the local vineyard? I know of him, of course. It's a small area. Is he one of yours, by any chance? A Freemason? No. At least he's not Scottish right. We knew that, though. Prince James implied that the kidnapping was political. Would the manuscript have anything to do with it? It could. There are those who take exception to the idea of Prince James being on the throne. The throne? What throne? Never mind. <laughs> oh, we'll mind. The manuscript promotes Prince James as king of what? Scotland? Oh, it doesn't promote him as anything, per se. It simply lays out the genealogies. He's clearly the best candidate. Best candidate for what? Are you talking about Scottish independence? No. In our modern world, Scotland is a very small principality indeed. England? The Stuarts have vowed they'd never accept the English throne. Well, what then? It's Just not well, for me to say. It. The European Union. Here's what I don't get. Would make Why sense. are you working on the manuscript? The Holy here? Roman Empire. Mm -hmm. Obviously, you don't need the Templar vibes. There's usually one of us in the area just to keep an eye out. For what? Treasure hunters? For anything. But why you? There is a certain opposition to the manuscript. The work on it was to be done discreetly. And you figured they'd never suspect you'd work on it here. Something like that. Of course, you've quite destroyed my anonymity. Well, Not I'd, really. I'd, 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 I have to go. As you wish. He didn't really be doing that good of a job watching things. There are fucking vampires here. They're killing... Okay. <laughs> I mean, what are you watching? What What are you keeping an eye on? You keeping an eye on the dirt out behind your back? By the way, maybe you want to keep an eye out for people hiding, like barely hiding behind your house. <laughs> people that you could clearly have seen. Like, like, I mean, we were not hidden. No. If he had glanced. It was the worst hiding I've ever seen. It was like a toddler. If he had stopped to tie his shoe, anything. For Christ's sake, maybe they should send somebody else. Yeah, we don't know what he means, but we know that Arnaud had a book about the European Union in his desk. Uh, I guess this was around the time when that was forming, 1999. Mm. So maybe that's the, the throne that they're talking about. Mm-hmm. Bonjour. Madeline. Hey. Coming out of mostly She's room. just hanging out, isn't she? She's actually not. She's you carrying should, a newspaper. You should take that newspaper from her. Go, go, shove her until she drops it, and then take it. Uh, Gabriel will not be willing to do that. Ugh, he should though. That is uh, assault. Just because she's a woman, he's not willing to shove her. Yeah, that's <laughs> that's probably one of the reasons. Also, that's not. Guess what I found today? What? Wilkes's corpse. What? I found him at Lom Moor. It did Looks Gabriel like they took him right anybody? out of his room last nope. night. He oh my should God. tell somebody. Creepy, isn't we're it? telling her now. They were in the hotel. Somebody official? Weird, because yeah. I was dreaming about them. That's why I. Fucked um, you? Well, uh, how, how was Wilkes killed? Just like Prince James's men. Throat cut, blood drained into a pool. God. Ugh. What am I, cursed or something? I spent the entire day in the car with Mallory and McDougal, and then last night. I had dinner with Wilkes, and... What was his big theory, anyway? He had a seismic survey done. They show hollow areas, and he had uncovered a big one. It makes sense, actually, because I've been working on this riddle called Le Serpent Rouge. Sure. You keep working on that. I've got some ideas of my own to follow up. <sighs> Fine. Did you check out the Bloodline manuscript? 
Yeah, pretty interesting. Where do you want me to start? I don't give a shit. Just What's the manuscript you? say about the bloodline? The bloodline thing is major. The descendants of Jesus are called Disposini. Their symbol is the unicorn. Unicorn? Mm-hmm. Supposedly, the horn represents the male phallic symbol, and the unicorn itself represents the fertile Jesus. Well, no wonder the Catholic Church had a conniption. <laughs> but is there any way this bloodland thing could be legit? Well, there's no reason why Jesus shouldn't have married and had children, unless you believe any kind of sex is a sin. Personally, I don't. And you certainly don't. That's just the land I feed Catholic girls, but go on. Uh-huh. And it's the kind of thing the early church might have suppressed, if for no other reason than to make sure the bishops of the church had all the power and not the descendants. That explains how it might be possible, but it's hardly proof. True, but if it's all a myth, it's a very old myth. The royal arms of Scotland show a Davidic lion of Judah, Disposinic unicorn, and the Jewish fleur-de-lis. So they've believed they were Disposinic from the Middle Ages, at least. Uh -huh. Is there, um... Uh... Is there anything more in there about the unicorn imagery? Um, a bit. You know all those medieval tapestries that show a unicorn in a garden or a, a unicorn being hunted? Yeah. Supposedly, they all represent the disposony being suppressed by the church. Oh. Fascinating. Did you get the impression that the manuscript was trying to set Prince James up for something? It certainly went to great lengths about his pedigree. I guess the royal families find that terribly irrelevant. What about rulership? Did it mention anything about a throne? Yeah, actually. It talked about the European Union a lot. How any system of government ideally has both a parliament and a monarchy. You don't think they're trying to... No. No, no, no. Position the House of Stuart as monarchs over the EU. Yeah, I think that's exactly what they're trying to do. I don't know that the Germans oh, would like that. No. No and wonder the Germans Sinclair are kind of here. in charge of the EU a little they're bit. Pretty big, What's yeah. the manuscript say about the Freemasons? The manuscript came right out and said that the original split between the Templars and the Priory of Sion was over the bloodline. The Priory wanted to support certain French families of Merovingian descent, while the Templars supported the emerging Stuart dynasty. I think it's pretty clear that the Freemasons and the Priory are still fighting over the same issue. I'm still not sure I see the connection between Sinclair and Prince James's men. The manuscript did mention Prince James. It, it traced the various branches of the bloodline all the way down to the present day. It was obviously making the point that the Stuarts have the largest, purest amount of the blood, and Prince James is mentioned as the current Stuart heir. Yeah, I don't know why Gabriel would Does ask Sinclair that. mention the Holy Grail in the manuscript? The Grail represents the bloodline and a kind of noblesse oblige duty to serve mankind. But also, remember what you heard on the train? You heard the kidnapper say Sangreal. Yeah? The manuscript says the words Holy Grail were actually a mistranslation. The original phrase wasn't Sangreal or Holy Grail, but Sangreal. Sangreal? What's that mean? Blood royal or royal blood. The Holy Grail is the bloodline, Gabriel. That's what's so creepy. Wow. I wonder if that's what they were saying on the train. It's royal blood. That's what I've been wondering. Kind of brings the whole vampire theory back onto the playing field, doesn't it? Yeah. That doesn't sound like a moped. I don't know about you, but I get the impression that them having sex was not that big a deal. Like, maybe Damn. they had fooled around it's a Prince lot. Prince James. Mm. Where's the manuscript? I've got to get it back to Larry before he runs to his boss and complains. Uh, yeah, about it that. It was right here. I left it on the table when I went to take my shower. Uh-huh. Ooh, don't tell me that, Grace. Grace? Somebody must have taken it. Yeah, it was mostly... Yeah. Okay, let me think. It's about time I pinned down our old squirmy friend from the NOPD. I'll get him out of town for a bit. What about Prince James? Tell him I'm working on the case. I can't see him till I've got that manuscript or he'll have my head on a platter. You really think Mosley? Yes. Yeah, the bum. 
but do me a favor and look around here just in case I'm wrong. So Grace will need to try to find Give the, the bulk, manuscript and next. You can ride with so. Mosley. What? Come on, how can I keep an eye on the others if you leave me stranded? Please? I don't believe this. Thanks. Ugh, Asian and woman driver. God. <laughs> 